So we had the SID Display Week, and the, hi, so who are you? Hi, I'm uh, Radu Rate, the CTO at Aries Materials. Hi. I'm David Arriaga, I'm the CEO of Aries Materials. So what do you do at Aries Materials? So we develop optical films for flexible displays. That's at the core of what we do at, the, at our lab, and we uh, are happy to be here at SID to promote our new products. So uh, you can show what kind of films? Yeah, yeah, so like David was saying, we make yeah. uh, optically isotropic, uh, high clarity films for display applications. Uh, one, one easy way to show this is most of the optical films that people are using on the market today are like this polyester sheet, right, where you see a high degree of uh, dependence on the angle of the sheet uh, to the transmission through cross polarizers. All of our materials are highly transparent, just like the polyester sheets, but when you put them in between the cross polarizer, you can't see any dependence on the angle of orientation for any transmission through these cross polarizers. That's a fancy way of saying that our materials are very homogeneous. Uh, they're high light transmission, low haze, low yellowness, and uh, very optically isotropic. So which, which part of this is yours? Yeah, so we make these films. Uh, this is just one single variety of our material, the Pilux MF film that you see here. Um, this is a, a higher temperature uh, resistant yeah. material. Uh, so, yeah, the Pilux MF that you see here is a material that we use as a substrate for a whole host of different uh, applications, whether it's color filter or uh, thin film transistor substrates for uh, low temperature metal oxides. Um, we use this material in high temperature applications uh, where the material can be on a carrier substrate. So uh, you're targeting, let's say, the smartphones market and stuff mm -hmm. like that? Yeah, so there's a lot of different applications, uh, primarily mobile displays, um, different materials in the front plane or in the uh, layers above the emissive portion of the display uh, require a high degree of optical transmission so that you can see the brightest, sharpest image that you get out of your display. And you have a better uh, layer than anybody mm -hmm. else? Yeah, uh, we're basically trying to convince everyone that uh, the optical transparency and other properties of the material, along with the way that we can tune all of the mechanical properties of the film, uh, will outperform any of the other optical films that they can choose today. So, this this was just to demonstrate, or yeah, what this is that? Uh, this is just to demonstrate that we have a zero birefringence film. What that means is that if you were like I said, putting it in between cross polarizers, you shouldn't see anything right between uh, two. Uh, orthogonal polarizers. But polyester is very, very birefringent. And so when you turn it in between these cross polarizers, you can see light bleeds through the film. Our films, there is no light bleed through independent of the angle that you are turning the film, which means that the bulk of this material, the molecular structure of this material, is very homogeneous. How do you do that? Uh, well, it's the magic secret sauce of Aries materials. Uh, we find ways to convert polysulfide resins or liquid materials into these optical films. And uh, this is another one, the W? Yeah, the Pilux W is our uh, tough optically clear adhesive. It's a resin and film material uh, that we use as a, an adhesive between, for example, a cover lens and uh, the rest of the display module or the touch sensor. Uh, it serves to absorb shock from point impacts onto the display itself. The stuff that you do, does it make it easier to finish, uh, to ship uh, finished product? Yeah, yeah, no, it that's a good it, point. Because otherwise they have to line it perfectly and everything. And right, right. Put it on and it works. Yeah. You put it on and it works. Uh, and we're proofing that right now with big display manufacturers uh, in Asia to show that these films are outcompeting all of the rest of the optical films that they have available it to them. It makes it easier the assembly at the manufacturing, right? Yeah, we can definitely uh, work with Save the manufacturer. Save them a few dollars on the bum. Well, we, yeah, we could definitely talk about pricing yeah. on a case-by-case -case basis. <laughs> and uh, what's the H? Uh, the H material. So this is our uh, lower cost, high volume, uh, transparent material. This is uh, similar to the Pilux MF material we talked about earlier. Uh, highly optically transparent and low birefringence, um, but with a much higher glass transition temperature, meaning that it can be used as a stiff film standalone for much higher temperatures. And uh, so you, this is explain something about what you do? Yeah, and this is the last product offering. This is actually, uh, with, uh, we won the Best in Show Award last year, 2018 at SID, uh, for our temporary bonding adhesive. 
for flexible displays. Essentially, it's a layer that goes in between the mother glass panel and the polyimid flexible substrate. And then instead of having the laser come back and remove the polyimid from the glass panel after the flexible display has been manufactured, you can just peel off the flexible substrate and any electronics on top using our EasyBond technology. So you got best in show for that yeah. last year. Mm -hmm. And uh, so what does that mean? You were shipping in huge quantities already? We're definitely trialing in huge quantities right now. So yeah. we're still going through the specification process. Uh, the major display manufacturers take a little time to say whether or not they can put all of your materials on their line. Uh, but right now, a lot of the big names uh, in the display manufacturing world are testing this for their substrate removal. And what else do you do here, the SID Display Week? Yeah. Because uh, you think it's a pretty cool show, it's a cool organization? Yeah, yeah. no, that's a, that's a great question. And besides you know, the Aries-related things, um, SID as a whole is promoting a brand new uh, concept called the Young Engineer Spotlight. So uh, this is a new effort, started in 2019, where the Society for Information Display is showcasing the young talent that we have in the industry from big big name companies that dis manufacture displays uh, or provide components to the display industry. Uh, this Young Engineer Spotlight serves to showcase uh, some of the new engineers, uh, what they're doing, uh, what they're really excited about in terms of new technology on the, on the market, and uh, hopefully we can show future engineers, uh, those who are students now or, or just trying to get their uh, foot in the door in this field, how to really get a, a good job. So the Young Engineer Spotlight, yep. and what do you do with that? Uh, so I'm actually currently uh, uh, vice chair of the marketing committee. I'm uh, uh, responsible for interviewing everybody uh, and making sure that they provide uh, good quality information for the future engineers who are looking to get into the uh, display world. So uh, it's actually great to be uh, uh, part of the SID Display Week. Uh, yeah. It's a good way to, to get uh, connected with the whole industry? Absolutely. I think it's by far the most important networking event that anybody in the display industry could go to today. Uh, the Display Week event brings people from uh, East Asia, from Europe, from the world as a whole. Uh, I think you know the tagline says it best, it's where the world's display uh, industry meets.